Still pasta. And you're just gonna pour it right around. Now you're gonna get your cheese here. Flip it right into the center. Perfect. Peel the foil right off. Now you're gonna spread that orzo pasta around town, just like this, into a baking sheet. This is an easy one pan pasta meal. Now we're gonna get our sun-dried tomatoes. And you're just gonna grab as many as you like and place them right over. Sun-dried tomatoes are so amazing for any dish. They add a complex little flavor, a smokiness, and it's just an absolute delight. Perfect. You're gonna place, I place around eight. You're gonna grab a little bit of that oil, a little bit, little drizzle right there. And we're just gonna be perfect right there. Now we're gonna grab our sausage. I use the Caprice chicken sausage. You can use any type of protein you want to substitute. I just find that this sausage just goes so well with everything. Perfect, look at that. You wanna cut into decent sized chunks here. Nothing too big, nothing too small. So the Caprice has sun-dried tomatoes, has other seasonings in there. It just tastes so lovely. Do not cut your fingers. Perfect, so I add about two to three sausages in each one. So I'm about to do two for this one. Less protein, but go ahead, add to your heart's delight, depending on how big your family is and how much they like protein. Super easy one pan dish. Perfect. We're just gonna add that right there. Now, we're going for our chicken broth. And we're gonna fill it until everything is fully submerged, okay? You wanna fully submerge this in your chicken broth. Look at that, guys. So this is super easy. You don't want to fully submerge the chicken. You want to only fully submerge the pasta. So I use roughly around half a box. So fully submerge the pasta. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now you're just going to press down, press everything into each other. Make sure nice and dandy so it fits. And then when that starts to cook, everything's gonna start cutting lovely and mixed in together. Now, we're gonna add a drizzle of olive oil. Just a splash. So that gets really penetrating in there. And now we're gonna go with our seasonings. And this is very simple. So we're gonna add some basil. Just a good amount of basil on the sides. You don't need to season the cheese. Some parsley. And if you guys don't have some of these seasonings, you don't need to add them. Okay, perfect. Some garlic powder. Remember, we season heavy here. If you don't like seasoning, lessen it. Onion powder. And this is so easy and fast, guys. And I'm gonna throw this in the oven at 350, 375 for 20 minutes. Oregano, that's what gives it the Italian flavor we're going for. And with this dish, you can either add red chili flakes, if you like it spicy, but if you don't like it spicy, no need to add it. Boom. So I added black pepper and all we need to do lastly is some salt. I don't have the fancy salt. If you have the fancy salt, go ahead and use the fancy salt. Perfect, look at that. I add like three pinches of salt into there, four, and there we go. Now we're gonna throw this in the oven at 375 for 20 minutes and it should fully cook. It's super, super. So what we're gonna do is cut our sun-dried tomatoes into small, smaller pieces here. And we wanna do this after it's cooked so the flavor is fully incorporated. So we're slicing those guys up. Oh my gosh, look at that. You're like, what's that big block of cheese in the middle? I already know, watch this. Oh! Yeah. <laughs>
Oh! Now we're gonna mix everything up so everything gets hydrated and flavored. So you wanna use two spatulas or three, up to you, but we have to mix it up. Look at Whoa. that. So we're mixing this guy up. Look at the steam coming in. One pan, a lot of protein, a lot of pasta, enough to feed your family. I use chicken broth. Guys, if you don't have enough chicken broth, right, and you're running out of chicken broth, because this pasta rice is very hungry for water. So you just add some more water, okay? But look at that. Holy cow. If you want less pasta, use some, uh, I would use half a box and some more protein. But this guy is looking so good. Look how creamy. You want to fully mix it. Give it a full mix. <laughs> so this guy is almost completely mixed. You want to make sure that boars and cheese gets everywhere. Yeah, dude, that cheese looks crazy. Yeah, man. that cheese is a lot of flavor in it. That's why we don't add too much. That's why you add a good amount of pasta. Now we're going to flatten it out like that. Oh my God, this looks better than my mother's cooking. It is better than your mom's cooking. You know what I'm saying. You see the cheese penetrate everything? That's what you want. A little smack for good assurance. So, let me show you. Let me get a scoop. Oh, it cuts perfectly, too. Of course, of course, of course. You can eat this in a bowl, of course, but I'm going to show you how I plate it and eat it. Ooh. Let me move this guy out of the way for you. Oh, Lord. And what I like to do is get a little bit more of that Sun-dried tomato oil, just a little bit. Oh, don't be shy. Perfect. Some fresh black pepper. And let me get something. And you can see each and every seasoning on this. Yes, you can see every single grain. Your thing is not supposed to look mushy. If it looks mushy, you cooked it for too long, okay? You see every single grain right there. We're gonna add some. Parmesan cheese, just to finish. A little parshmallow. Look at that. And I'm so excited. Uh, so I add red chili flakes right on top because some of my friends do not like it spicy. So uh, spice added, it out, yeah. You add it separately. So as you can see, it's ready to go. It's looking absolutely divine. And I'm gonna grab a piece of sausage. Yeah, get your protein. Get my protein. Cheers. <laughs> you I, have to eat this. This is so gosh darn good. And so easy to make. 